Ever wondered what network ports are and why they're so important? These little gateways are essential for communication between devices, but they can also become vulnerabilities for hackers. In this video, we'll explain network ports, explore well-known ports, discuss secure versus insecure ports, and show how open ports can lead to hacking. What are network ports? Network ports are virtual endpoints on a device used to communicate with other devices over the internet or local networks. Each port is assigned a number, known as a port number, which specifies a particular service or application. For example, think of a port as a door to your house. Each door serves a specific purpose mail delivery, guests, or maintenance. Similarly, ports allow specific types of data traffic to enter and exit your system. Types of ports, well-known ports 0 to 1023. These are assigned to common services and are recognized universally. For examples, port 80 HTTP, used for web traffic, port 443 HTTPS, used for secure web traffic, port 25 SMTP, used for email communication, port 53 DNS, used for domain name resolution, Registered ports 1024 to 49151, reserved for specific applications or services. For example, port 3306 MySQL, used for database connections. Dynamic or private ports 49152 to 65535, temporary ports used by clients to connect to servers. For example, a browser uses a dynamic port to connect to a web server. What are open ports and why they matter? An open port is actively accepting connections for a particular service. While necessary for communication, they can be exploited by attackers if not properly secured. For example, a company leaves port 3389 remote desktop protocol open to the internet without strong authentication. Hackers exploit this to gain unauthorized access, install ransomware, and lock employees out of their systems. Insecure versus secure ports. FTP port 21 sends usernames and passwords in plain text, making it easy for hackers to intercept. FPF port 22 encrypts everything, keeping your data and credentials safe. Telnet port 23 also sends data in plain text, leaving it open to attackers. SSH port 22, the secure alternative, encrypting traffic between your terminal and host. SMTP port 25. Emails are unencrypted and vulnerable to snooping. SMTPS port 587. Tells encryption, protecting your email communications. DNS port 53. Though common, isn't encrypted, exposing your domain requests. DNS over Tells port 853. Secures those requests from tampering by encrypting them. HTTP port 80. Sends web traffic unencrypted, exposing it to attacks. HTTPS port 443 encrypts traffic with TELS, ensuring your web browsing is secure. Time port 37, outdated and error prone. NTP port 123 offers modern error handling, making it far more reliable. How hackers exploit open ports. Hackers used following techniques to exploit open ports. Port scanning. Hackers use tools like Nmap to scan for open ports on your network. Once found, they probe these ports for vulnerabilities. Exploiting weak services. If a service running on an open port has vulnerabilities, attackers can exploit it to gain control of your system. For example, in 2021, attackers exploited open port 445 to spread ransomware globally, causing millions in damages. How to protecting your network ports. Close unnecessary ports. Review your open ports regularly and close any that aren't in use. Enable firewalls. Firewalls can block unwanted traffic and restrict access to critical ports. Use port security tools. Tools like Nessus can scan for vulnerabilities on open ports. Implement strong authentication. For services like SSH or RDP, use strong passwords and multi-factor authentication. Monitor network traffic. Keep an eye on traffic patterns to detect unusual activity. 
Important fact about port numbers. Port numbers are universal and standardized by the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority IANA, meaning they're the same no matter where you are in the world. Network ports are essential for connecting the digital world, but they can also be risky if not properly managed. By understanding their purpose and securing them, you can protect your systems from potential threats. Thank you for watching, stay secure and follow for more cybersecurity updates.